everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm basically just going to be explaining and talking to you guys about how i made over five thousand dollars in one month from my online boutique y'all my dog is so bad i had her out and i don't ever put her in her cage but she was biting the shit out of my clothes and i'm like you're not gonna put a hole in my fucking clothes like no and then she she was sitting on the bed staring at me trying to make me feel bad because i put her in the cage but i don't ever have her in the cage like See, she's trying to make me feel bad, but no, it's not going to work, sweetie. But, um, yeah, so basically, I'm just going to get into what I do, how long I've been doing it, and what I sell from the beginning to what I'm selling now. So, I opened my business, which is called Lovely Bees Boutique. I don't know if I already said that. Um, March 13th. It has been four months since I've been open. When I first opened, I was selling onesies and sandals, but I no longer sell sandals no more due to vendor issues. And I've never really just, I guess, made the time to find a new shoe vendor. And I'm really not tripping off of it. Like, I don't know. I love sandals, but I don't know if I'd bring them back. I would love to, but just the whole vendor issue. I don't know. If I don't find a U.S. vendor for sandals, I just don't think I would do it. But, um... Yeah, so I was selling onesies and sandals up until, I want to say, mm, the end of March, I sold out of my sandals. And then once I sold out, I just stopped carrying sandals. I just strictly was selling onesies. And then up until April, I brought in these, like, sleep shorts that said, like, one of the pairs said, yes, daddy. And then the second pair, I will show you guys the yes, daddy ones, but they're currently sold out. But I do have the second pair, which is, it says, thank you, enjoy. I have those somewhere. Let me go look for them. Yeah. So they're like these and they're basically just like sleep shorts I guess but you can go out and publish in them if you want I probably wouldn't um but yeah they're basically just like this that they're super cute but these are mine I've never worn them yet I need to though because they're really comfy but um yeah I sell these and then the yes daddy ones I need to restock those ones actually probably tonight but um yeah so now i sell sleep onesies um shorts anklets phone cases and sunglasses um i just got the rest of my sunglass order today so i only have one pair available to purchase now on my site but tomorrow i'm gonna have like the rest on there and then my phone cases those are all came in everything they're available on the site to purchase and yeah so basically i'm just gonna tell you guys i guess how much i made not all my months, but I'm going to show you guys. I'm like, my first month, I did not do good. Like, I don't even remember how much I made my first month. But I'm going to show you guys, like, and I'm just being completely honest. Like, I really did not make a lot of my first month. <clears throat> Y'all, I'm out of fucking breath. I'm so out of shape. I don't understand how talking makes me out of breath. But, um, no, like, things didn't start picking up for me until, I want to say, May till now like things have been picking up and i've been doing good obviously i'm nowhere where i want to be i won't be completely satisfied until i'm self-employed which is obviously the goal is to be self-employed because no i cannot no i can't keep working for somebody like that's just not me not me at all but why can't i see? okay so let's see so i was i opened march 13th so we'll just do March 13th to April 13th. So it can be like considered a month. Oh, okay. I guess. Okay. I didn't do bad. I guess I didn't realize that I, maybe I started to pick up in Mar in April, I guess. I don't know. But basically y'all can't really, hold on. Let me just grab this. Damn. It's not going to let me flip it. I'll just attach photos of it. But, um, basically from march or i'm sorry february oh i'm sorry i'm reading this so wrong march 13th to april 13th i made a thousand dollars and 279 cent or a thousand two hundred seventy nine and ninety four cents um it's not really telling me how many orders i had but yeah i don't really think y'all can see it's gonna be right here but yeah, anyways, so in that following month, I made $1,279.94. Like I said, that wasn't my best month. 
I don't, maybe things started to pick up in April. I don't know. Cause I know in March I did not, I maybe sold five things that entire month. I don't know. But I know I didn't do good. But anyways, so I'm just going to show you guys how much I've made like a month now. Like from June 23rd to July 23rd. Um, let's see. July, oh shit, what am I doing now? June 23rd, July 23rd. Okay, so from June 23rd to July 23rd, I've made $5,059. Why do I keep doing that? $5,059.21. So right here. I wonder if I can flip this video so y'all can't see it like crooked or whatever. But right there, I'll make sure to attach photos as well so you guys can see. But yes, that is how much I made um, this month. Well, from June 23rd to July 23rd, so a month. Um, basically, um, I don't really know what to say. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but obviously I had to reach a goal. And that was definitely a goal of mine to make $5,000 in a month. So I'm very proud of myself because even though I've only been open for four months, pushed myself a lot in my business to where it is today. And I can definitely see like the progress and stuff when it comes to my business. But... I think yesterday I had 500 sales, but basically the point of this video is to just explain like when I first started, um, I'm basically just going to go into depth about when I first started. Um, when I first started, like I said, the first month I did not get a lot of business and I'm not going to lie. It kind of, I feel like for me to be open only four months and, you know, to have 5000 to make over $5,000 in one month, I've been doing really good, but I've pushed myself so hard, you know, y'all, I'm going to tell you guys a few things like advice for business. So if you are going, if you are going to open a business, if you have a business open, um, and you're just struggling with getting sales and stuff like that, the top few things that I find extremely helpful, one, do not use vendor photos like me you'll notice on my site the only thing i have that was not photographed by myself is there's probably there's a few people on there like i'm modeling one of my onesies all of my onesies are modeled except maybe three or four which are vendor photos um but they're not modeled on someone you know like some people will post a picture from their vendor that they have somebody else model if that makes sense but the pictures I have were either onesies on a floor on my wood floor that I took or pictures that my vendor had of the onesie on a mannequin um but yeah like I said try your best to avoid using vendor photos because it just I don't know to me personally it just doesn't really look professional um but yeah it just doesn't really look professional so if you can just avoid using vendor photos by all means to make sure to post consistently on your Instagram page or whatever me my highest thing is Instagram that's where most of my buys come from that's where most of my followers come from like I have 9,000 I think 25 followers I'm about to hit 10k I'm so excited I'm so excited you guys like my goal is to have 10,000 beef or by the end of August that is my goal and I'm going to set it I know for a fact well I don't know for a fact y'all but speak into existence always think positive like when I first started I was so discouraged like beyond discouraged but anyways um yes I'm saying yes I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about um what was I saying uh I said the vendor photos oh yeah post consistently on Instagram I've noticed that anytime I post it consistently I've always gained followers I used hashtag if you go down on my Instagram page, you'll always see that I use hashtags. I hashtag explore page. I hashtag explore. I hashtag onesies. I hashtag lovely bees boutique, you know, just so people, if someone does in the future, when people do in the future, hashtag my stuff, they'll see my stuff, you know? So I hashtag lovely bees boutique and then I'll hashtag like onesies and whatever. I always use hashtags. Um, if you're going to be using hashtags that say like this amount of other people, hashtag that try to go to the one that is not too high like if there's an option to do the one that has 1 million other people who used it or 200,000 people who used it go to the 200,000 one because 
If you're in the one with the 1 million people, odds are your page is not going to be seen because you have all these other people who use that hashtag. Whereas the 200,000 one, yes, it's still a lot of people using it, but you have a better chance of being seen than you do the 1 million one. So I recommend always using hashtags. I don't think there's ever any post that I don't use hashtags just because I've noticed that I do always gain followers when I'm using hashtags. So I say that um, another thing is taking pictures and I guess it does fall into the not using vendor photos but make sure your pictures are with good lighting if you don't have good lighting in your house you can always take pictures outside like excuse me like um I mean you'll see a lot of people take pictures on like their white fur rugs and I have one of them it's just um like my anklet photos I'm like wearing my pink Uggs and my anklets and then I'm like modeling it over a white fur carpet just because I don't really like my wood floors but yeah like you don't have to have the best lighting in your house to do it um you can always just go outside to take your photos but I feel like quality is such a big thing if you are scrolling on Instagram and you see you know you see a business page but their pictures are you know the pictures just aren't really cute or they're not really in the best quality you know odds are you're not going to want to order it you know, just make sure that you take very good pictures, good quality photos. Like I said, if you don't have good lighting in your house, you can always go outside when the sun is out and take great pictures. I took my um, phone case pictures outside and the, the quality just came out so bomb. Like I took the liter literally the pictures over some bushes by the park, like, but they came out very cute. So do that. I would definitely recommend if you don't have good lighting in your house to go outside or whatever. If you're doing it inside throw a fucking a white faux whatever the fuck that word's called I, I thought it was fox but I guess it's faux but anyways just throw a white faux carpet and there you go um I would definitely invest in a ring light another main thing and I know some people are probably not going to agree with this I don't care though because I know this is definitely something that is true so if you're thinking of opening a business or you have a business you guys need to make a website like, I don't, I stress this so much, like, um, me personally, I don't know if it's just me, but me personally, if I was going on Instagram and I seen a really cute business Instagram page, but it says DM to order, I'm sorry, but I'm not ordering from you. If you don't have a website, it's just not professional not having a website. You know, if you believe that your business is going to make it, if you have all this faith and trust into your business, you can spend that extra $30 a month, you know, to make that website. So... Um, I'm with Shopify, but yeah, I definitely do think making, having a website is definitely a big, it's a very big thing. Like I said, most people, if they see DM to order, they're not going to want to order because some people don't feel comfortable with their, you know what, you know what I mean? Like giving their information out on like, a, I don't really under I don't really know how things like that works. I, when I first started, I had a website, so I can't really speak too much on it but I know with me personally I would never order from someone where it says DM to order I just feel like that's not professional so yes if you plan on opening a business or anything please make sure the first thing you have is a website because it just makes you look way more professional um another thing I'm trying to think mm, already said the vendor so website oh okay so for new business owners or starting out business owners, when ordering from vendors, I definitely would recommend sampling these stuff first. You do not want to pay. I'm just, this is just an example. So if you're, let's say you're ordering onesies and you see somebody selling onesies, whatever you're in, let's say you want to order 200. You're not going to want to automatically order 200. You, okay. Sorry. Y'all you're going to want to order a sample first because you can order 200 onesies and the quality not be good. And nine times out of 10, if you don't like the quality, your vendor is not going to take it back, especially with COVID going on. They're not going to, they're not going to refund you your money nine times out of 10. They're just not. So I know with me, any, before I've ever ordered anything, I always order a sample to make sure the quality is good because you don't want to be selling cheap ass quality products. You just don't. It's just not professional. If you do and someone's buying from you, they're going to be like, okay, this cheap ass shit, like I don't want to order again because I see, you know, the quality is ass, like. No, that's not professional, you know, to be selling shit that's low quality stuff. It's just not professional. So always sample your products because you don't want to spend all this money and waste your money, you know, and then basically being fucked in the end with shit products. You don't want to do that. 
Um, I think that's really about it, all I can think of. Um, but basically how I, like I said, how I made my $5,000, over $5,000 in a month. I had over 120, no, I think it was 124. I had 124 orders and majority of my, I sell my onesies for $24.99. Majority of my orders were buying onesies and most of them were more than one onesies. I've had some people even buy phone cases. I've had some people buy my facial headbands. I've had people buy my anklets and the shorts. So basically everything I sold obviously is clearly how I got, you know, to over $5,000 in uh, sales. But um, no, like, like I said, um, I am beyond grateful and happy for me being, you know, four months in. And like I said, um, why can I not think? Everyone's results and everyone's progress I talk everyone's progress is not gonna be the same like just because I made five thousand dollars my fourth month of being open does not mean you will you know you could always have less in sales or you could even make more than me in one month I'm sorry y'all people keep messaging me about these cases but um but yeah like for instance somebody could make on their first month of opening like like I said on my first month I made a thousand something whatever somebody else could make a hundred dollars that month and there's nothing listen there is nothing wrong with not with taking months to finally see progress there is nothing wrong with that you may get discouraged but i'm telling you do not give up i was so discouraged my first month of sales like i was extremely discouraged i think m the month of march i sold maybe five things and i'm just like what if i literally was always like what am i doing wrong like you know i'm like what am i doing wrong i i'm not using vendor photos i'm constantly hashtagging i'm staying consistent on my pictures like what am i doing wrong why am i not moving as fast as everyone do not ever compare yourself to nobody else do not ever compare your results to somebody else do not ever compare your progress to somebody else just don't do it because it's going to make you feel bad about yourself and i'm just telling you now do not do it but anyways do not be discouraged because i promise you guys once you once you move up it it's up from there it's no going back down you just have to stay consistent you cannot be putting in you know you can't be doing half ass shit and then expecting you know major progress you just can't do that put your all into your business and you will see major results like it may take some time and it may not like like i said my first month i made a thousand something somebody else could fifty dollars in sales or they can make fucking five thousand dollars their first month like i said just no matter how slow business is going just don't ever give up like just don't do it um but yeah that's enough of my pep talk just you know don't be hard on yourself i was hard on myself i'm just like what the fuck am i doing wrong like you know and there was times i'm like okay maybe now is not for me and then like i said you know i was just like fuck that you know i've always wanted to open a business so i just kept pushing kept pushing finally shit started picking up for me and i'm beyond blessed i'm beyond grateful and thankful for where my business is today like i said i'm nowhere near where i want to be but i'm so thankful that it's where it's at but um if you guys have any questions please just feel free to ask me in the comments and i will definitely answer them in another video or i'll just answer your question in the comments but yeah that's basically it um yeah thank you for watching and my next video will probably be a bigger restock video because i'm definitely long overdue for that i've been trying to do it the last two restocks but i always forget and since with covid and everything some shipping has been delayed so um but yeah so my next video will be a restock but anyways thank you for watching like i said if you guys have any questions that i did not answer please feel free to comment down below and i will answer them